Hi, I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is December the 15th, 2019. And today uh, I'm going to do a, a guided reading on Boris Johnson, um, who uh, was uh, re-elected as Prime Minister uh, a couple days ago, uh, last Thursday. And um, I, uh, when I do my readings, I uh, don't shuffle the cards and uh, draw them. Uh, I ask my spirit guides to psychically show me the cards and then I fish them out of the deck and I ask them, well, why did you choose these cards? This was requested reading uh, by uh, several people and uh, I know that it's freaking people out also here because, uh, you know, people are thinking, well, if Boris Johnson can get elected or re-elected, you know, maybe Trump can, and uh, so hopefully this uh, reading will be helpful um, in allaying some of those fears, actually. Uh, disclaimer here, uh, I did see Linda uh, G. Comanche Psychic do a reading on this, but I'd actually um, asked my guides to um, pick these cards before I saw that reading, so it was nice to see that reading, actually, because this reading confirms that reading. Uh, so I did see that reading, but um, which is similar to this, but the cards, um, I already had uh, asked about the cards beforehand. So did anybody know, <laughs> I'm sure you Brits know, that um, I'm reading from my phone here, that um, uh, Boris Johnson's name is, his full name is Alexander Boris de Piffel, <laughs> P-F-E-F-F-E-L, Johnson. Uh, <laughs> uh, says he's a British politician, writer, former journalist, who served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and leader of the Conservative Party since July 2019. So this was a, a special election that he called. And, uh, you know, right now the narrative is, well, this means that Brexit, Brexit is a sure thing and it's going to go through. So let's see what the guides have to say. This was, this, uh, oh, I use a simple Celtic cross. I'm using the um, Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. And there's a card, uh, uh, Oracle card for us at the end. Uh, the Devil. This was the subject card. My guides say this means uh, that this is Russian interference in this election. Big time. Big time. Like they had, their, their uh, door was, back door was wide open for this interference. Uh, and this uh, was uh, 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 something that had been um, seeded, you know, this, this uh, uh, um, uh, coup, as people are calling it, had been seeded for quite a while. Uh, and with the help of, well, Putin, obviously, um, and, and Steve Bannon was major in this, in the background. Now, Boris Johnson will deny it. But Steve, uh, sorry, Steve Bannon is admitting it. He's saying, yeah, I've been working closely with uh, Boris Johnson, helping him, uh, uh, you know, on his campaign. Uh, uh, but uh, Boris Johnson's really good at saying, oh, no, who? <laughs> I never worked with Steve Bannon. I don't know Vladimir Putin. Uh, but no, this, this is uh, the interference and why. Why does Russia want to uh, have Brexit happen, which is really part of this deal, uh, well, to see more chaos and uh, uh, disruption and, and division uh, in, in Europe to, to weaken NATO uh, so that um, if there's a Brexit, then Scotland is going to um, uh, completely become independent from the United Kingdom. And actually now, interestingly enough, Northern Ireland is talking about unifying with uh, Southern Ireland and breaking away from uh, England. So it's going to be isolated. It's going to weaken their economy. And then there's this other aspect of it that I was reading about, which is that uh, Putin himself wants to create a, a kind of um, parallel union, which is like the Eastern European Union. And then, you know, Britain can uh, join that. <laughs> I think that's the aim. It's also about lifting sanctions and and just uh, and it's not just happening in you know Britain. It's, hap it's happening all over Europe, uh, France included. Uh, and this is his uh, Putin's nefarious and ingenious plot to uh, you know 
destroy the Western uh, pact or Western bloc and uh, become or assert himself as becoming as the United States he, it was in his mind or is going to be um, no longer, you know, the leader of the world. And it's not going to be the free world anymore. <laughs> it's going to be the world of the oligarchs and with Putin at the head. So this is what this card means. Above six of, uh, sorry, seven of swords, stolen election. Basically, that's what this means. Walking away with the swords here um, behind the scenes. Uh, interference with uh, the votes uh, and uh, it's, yeah, it's a secret operation here. It's the card of the thief stealing the election. In the past is five of pentacles. My guides say this is Brexit and, and how Brexit has been, um, uh, how it's been seated again into the, and I'm, I'm saying it again, cause I'm thinking, you know, I'm using the word seated again, sorry, seated into the narrative, into the uh, minds of, of uh, people in the United, in the United Kingdom, um, mainly in England, uh, so this this is this card of poverty you know it's poverty consciousness like we we're not strong with uh, uh europe uh, we're being ripped off we're we we need to, to isolate ourselves become stronger on our on our own because we're uh, suffering um as part of this this union so they're preying on people's doubts on people's fears on people uh uh being scared that they're going to uh, suffer because of this this union. Interestingly, I, I don't know how many cards are in the uh, nations are in the European Union, but these kind of generally, I think the Five of Pentacles is group generally probably refers to that union and uh, the uh, the narrative to the public or how um, the Brexit is being sold is to say, oh no, you're much worse off in the, in the European Union and uh, to be strong again, you know, to be uh, uh, Britannia to, to like, the, like the Germans wanting to go back to the Thousand Year Reich or something, <laughs> that kind of, uh, we're, we want to be pure again, we want to be free and whole and, and that this is a whole spiel that Boris Johnson is, 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 is uh, uh, spewing out really. But, but how how, does, how do these things get um, foisted on uh, on us through feeding into our fears, feeding into our uh, uh, yeah, feeling feeding, feeling into our prejudices, feeding into uh, our uh, our doubts, our um, our feelings of insecurity, and uh, all of a sudden. It's not about a collective anymore. It's about mine. What's mine? And I, I need to keep mine. So you, you can't have mine. And keep out of my country. Uh, you know, keep out of my uh, money. Uh, uh, and that that is how this has um, been sold, basically. Underneath, the fool. So the fool card represents Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson is a fool and he plays on that uh, it's his ruse really uh, behind the fool is the devil dark energy nefarious and heinous plots that are going to damage the country but uh, they choose uh, a fool like they choose Trump for our country they choose Boris Johnson for that country because fools uh, can distract they can come off as harmless people I've heard Republicans uh, uh, say, oh, you know, Trump's just joking. He's got a sense of humor. You know, even about Greta, um, is it Thornburg? Uh, it's not funny, but uh, they have this uh, clownish uh, uh, persona so that people can, are, are um, encouraged to laugh off any of their uh, more darker aspects. Oh, they're just clowns. Uh, and clowns are here to entertain us. We laugh and we're supposed to trust the clown because clowns aren't going to hurt us. They're just funny. They're, you know, they're children, uh, you know, they, they're here to entertain children. Uh, and they also, uh, conversely, they uh, take us for children. 
that were the, 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 the they, they bring us to our lowest common denominator. And I'm not talking about clowns in general because clowns could be wonderful, but this persona that these uh, thugs take, like uh, Johnson and uh, tr uh, Trump, to fool us so that the, 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 the devil can do his or her work. In the future, this is the tower. So my guides say this is the whole thing just blowing up in uh, Johnson's face, in the, uh, the Tory party's face. Uh, this is the truth coming out. It's not going to take too long. They're saying in a couple months, the uh, truth is coming out about this election, that it was a stolen election. And, and not only that, um, similar to Trump, very similar, uh, Boris uh, Johnson cannot help but sow chaos. So even though right now he seems to be riding on the uh, horse of victory, he, just like Trump, it's, it, he's, he can't sustain that because he's another narcissist. And he's going to uh, un, be his own undoing. So this is him within a couple months. I hope this is true, actually, because I don't like him at all. But um, his, his falling apart, even resigning, being ousted. So even though he, you know, he's right now, he's uh, he's not at the pinnacle of of his uh, uh, power and his dominance and popularity, I guess, uh, or at least uh, ostensibly, this is what happens in a, uh, within a couple months. So why does this happen? Um, the clarifying card is the moon. This is things being down in the dark. So again, this is what's in the dark. Uh, I asked my guides to have a clarifying card with this three of pentacles, uh, the deal with Russia, done in the dark bringing in uh, a win, which is a, a, a not a real win. This, this was really uh, 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 outright, outrightly stolen. And then, you know, people are protesting. There's, there's uh, tens of thousands of people that protested as soon as that, as that happened because they couldn't figure it out uh, because of people who were uh, voting for the opposition party to, to Boris Johnson. There were just mega lines and uh, people who never, uh, like, I, I want to say people who've never voted before, um, people, the youth uh, really showing up. And so it's blowing people's minds that Johnson won. But this is this this is smoke and mirrors. This is how how this election was won in the future. The sun, the sun is coming out on this and the truth will be known. So this is just a, you know how the moon uh, uh, changes all the time. Uh, so our moods are temporary with it, just like maybe the last full moon. Um, I know I had a strong reaction to it and then uh, it, it, it was uh, kind of moody and uh, strange, but then uh, it, it, it became full at the height of, height of its glory and then it, it, it started to wane and that feeling went away. So that, that's what uh, this card is about. This is the sun uh, now steadfastly shining on the truth and it's dispelling the smoke and mirrors and, and bringing uh, uh, the, uh, uh, what really happened in, uh, in this election to, uh, to light. And so I asked for a clarifying card and they gave me, the, my guides gave me the nine of wands and the nine of wands represents Boris Johnson and he's conceding now he, like it's his cover's blowing and he's got to step down when I did this reading I wasn't sure I thought well this is just wish fulfillment uh, and then when I saw Linda's reading it was so similar to this I thought oh yay <laughs> I was hearing my guides correctly this was coming you know to me clearly and uh uh, she said almost the exact same thing. I think it's, if you wanted to look at that reading, I'm sure majority of you already have. I think it's her December 13th reading. Uh, I, it, yeah, I, I think that's correct. The card that my guides chose for us is from the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. 
such a beautiful deck. Uh, Stacy DeMarco talking about moons. <laughs> and uh, so the card that is chosen for us today is the Queen of the Moon, Savorinti. You have sovereignty over your own life. Act with grace and confidence. You have the ability to unite disparate people and views should you choose to. The buck stops with you. You are powerful. Act like it. There's an affirmation here. I reign over my own realm. Goddess of the moon, uh, or goddesses of the moon, are one of the oldest kinds of feminine divine uh, and feature in mythologies from almost every corner of the globe. From Diana of ancient Rome and the Greek Artemis to the Semitic Astarte and Hina from Polynesia. The link with the feminine divine and the lunar planet and cycles is a strong one. These goddesses in all their myriad of forms were extremely powerful and demonstrated to women that they naturally had power as well. We should strive to be the powerful queens of our own domain. You women out there, that's who she's speaking to. Women especially have been socialized to defer. But all men have a divine feminine and all women have a divine masculine. Just so you know. Uh, Women especially have been socialized to defer, to keep small, to be quiet, and to hold a very twisted kind of service that borders on servitude. While in many first world countries, women can choose to be what they wish to be on paper, women still experience in inequality in most countries in areas such as wage disparity and as imbalance of the number of women in government or in high level board positions. However, what has been accepted in the past is not what will be accepted in the future. A new queendom is coming. Think of Nancy Pelosi and AOC, <laughs> uh, Maxine Waters, and some powerful women, uh, Greta uh, Thunberg, and uh, it's a Finland that has now like all, all, all their their um, leaders are female. When we reign over our own lives, it is us that take on the responsibility for our change and our decisions. The Moon Queen knows that we are, uh, that we just under, oh, sorry, I'll say that again. The Moon Queen knows that we, just under the divine, are our own rulers. And as such, the buck stops here. Therefore, it's worth investing in growing self-awareness, self-trust and self-care and self-esteem in real and practical ways. We must, as any queen would, set firm boundaries to protect our queendom and those who are under our protection. This does not mean we become cruel rulers. We should always aim for benevolence, fairness, and a great love for all, as well as ourselves. It does mean we may have to push against those who do not respect our, the line that we draw. And the uh, companion stone or metal that she always includes one is platinum. So this really does remind me of Nancy Pelosi. And she is uh, uh, drawing her line in the sand. She is asserting herself and uh, she's not afraid to do that. And that uh, we, we need to find our own <laughs> Nancy Pelosi within us and the men and women too. I, I'm not saying that men also cannot be you know, conditioned or socialized to be uh, uh, servile or, or, you know, uh, enablers or, or whatever uh, that you know, all people are, are uh, vulnerable to that, depending on how, how we are raised in our childhood and, and what our self concept is. But the, there's a difference between, uh, uh, you know, the masculine uh, ruler and the f uh, uh, feminine ruler uh, and really we're talking, I, I'm not, I, I think I'm, I want to really talk about our own domain. But the, the, the feminine part of ourselves that she's talking about is that part of ourselves that uh, steps up, asserts herself, says, 
it is wrong to harm the earth. It's wrong to harm our children. It's wrong to take advantage of the weak and the poor. I uh, protect those around me. I, I myself am serving Gaia, the earth. I myself am serving the sentient beings on this planet. I step forward as a loving, caring, compassionate being, but I'm not to be messed with. <laughs> Uh, did Nancy Pelosi say that don't mess with me because I have compassion but don't mess with me because I have compassion don't mistake that for weakness that is my strength so that's what I get from this card I want to remind people that I do personal readings past present future past lives I love to introduce people to their guardian angels and I am a medium uh, you can ask virtually anything uh, to my guides. Um, they they will answer most things, some, not everything, but for the most part, it's worth a try. And I'm leaving my information, uh, how to get in touch with me, and information about my services, the cost, and how you, you arrange appointments, that kind of thing, below. Also, at the end of this video, uh, if you want to stick around at the end, uh, uh, there's a little musical treat for you. I hope everybody is uh, enjoying uh, this December period of time, mid-December. I know that holidays are looming, uh, but it, it, and I know it's stressful <laughs> for a lot of people. But I always just say this in, in all my videos, find some joy, uh, find some me time, uh, find some family time, find some uh, time with your pets. Just really enjoy these, these days uh, as short as they are like today the sun is out it's really really pretty out there it snowed a little bit earlier i will be back uh next weekend is the solstice so there will be always a video on the solstice i may just publish it on saturday because saturday is the solstice in the meantime take care i'm sending you my love and uh i will see you soon bye